Good morning, Hollinger County Middle School. Happy Tuesday. I'm Shania Bell. And I'm Ariana Akers. Today is Tuesday, November 10th, 2020. Thanksgiving is in 16 days and our fall break starts on November 25th and ends on the 29th. That's definitely something to look forward to. We want to give a special shout out to Miss Lee and Miss Nevada's homeroom for dressing out for our Red Women Pink Out. You guys are great for showing your support. <laughs> Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm Willis, and today I'll show you how to make some very, very, very yum pancakes. The first thing you're gonna need is Aunt Jemima original or buttermilk pancake or waffle mix. Now, this part we'll get to later. We don't need this part right now. That part's for later. Now, is milk. You need milk. Butter or butter substitute, whatever you can find. Part. Gonna need one big boy pan. Turn it on. Then you're going to want to take out a butter knife and get that butter out. Now make sure you put the butter away from the pan, otherwise it will get hot and melt. Take a good chunk of butter and put it on the pan. Then get a spatula, because you need a spatula. Hide the butter around the pan and I'll be right back all right so we're back after some minor technical difficulties now you're just going to want to let that pan sit there keep the stove burning and now get to the batter mixing part you're going to need either a batter mixer but I prefer fork fork is best now, I don't measure I learned this from my granddaddy, and this is how he does it. You dump some of that in there until you think it's about good enough to make yourself a pancake. Then, you pour in some milk, but hold on, don't pour in your milk yet. But make sure you don't pour more than that. Pour it up to about right there and then stir it. Now, you're going to feel it becoming thicker and into a sort of batter. Now, stir it until there are no more lumps. So, once your pancake batter is nice and lump-free, you're going to want to take it. Now, you might not have mixed it in one of these. If you mix it in a bowl, then you're going to want to dump it. Make sure none of it gets all over the place. You're going to want to pour it on the pan. Your hand might get a little burnt from the butter stuff coming up, but that's fine. It doesn't hurt. But make sure the batter's spread out on the pan so you can get a nice big pancake got on there, but that's fine. All right. Now keep that milk there. You might need it to make another pancake if you're still hungry. Now, you wait until the pancake has gotten nice and brown on the bottom. You can do that by lifting it up with a spatula. Then get the spatula under there and flip it. Pat it down a few times. And now wait for that part to get done. Check the bottom part. See if it's cooked. Well, I think this pancake's done. So, go ahead and turn off the stove. First, now this is completely optional. You can eat the pancake with syrup, but I figured since we're on here, I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. You got some M&M's, some crushed M&M's, and chocolate bars, and this, which is actually Hershey's chocolate syrup. So now you're going to want to just 
have a chocolate syrup on the painting, go ahead and sprinkle some M&Ms on there. And there you go, folks. Very own homemade pancake, very young. Of course, of course, you know there's only one way to know if it's truly very yum. This pancake is Willis approved. Mmm, that looks good. If you would like to send us a cooking video to be featured on this news, we would love to see you cooking your favorite foods and sharing them with the rest of CCMS. November is National Career Development Month. Let's hear from our very own career counselor, Ms. Williams and Ms. Warren, for more information. What's up, CCMS? This is Ms. Warren. And I'm Ms. Williams. And we're the Career Development Facilitators here at Cowden County Middle School. We want to let you know that November is Career Development Month. And we're going to start out by introducing to you the 16 career clusters. We're and starting with transportation, distribution, and logistics. And we have agriculture, food, and natural resources. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Architect and construction. We also have marketing, sales, and service. We have art, AV, technology, and communication. One of our big biggies is manufacturing. Yes, and we have business man manufacturing and administration. We also have law, public safety, and security. Education and training. One of the biggest ones you guys like, information technology for you computer programmers. We have government and public administration. Human services. We have finance where you gonna find money, money, money. Hospitality and tourism. And health science for all of our people who wanna take care of us as we get older. All right guys, on November the 18th, this will be our first virtual career fair. And we're inviting all of you to attend our virtual career fair this year. And we will be coming out with more information and instructions on how to obtain that at a later date. If you need to contact us, we are able to be reached at 843-782-0040, extension 22556. And I am 22557. My email address, cbwilliams at colleton.k12.sc.us. And mine is twarren at colleton.k12. .sc.us Again, what's, what's up, CCMS? They're so fun. I can't wait for the virtual career fair, which, like they said, is on November 18th. All right, CCMS, time for a would you rather question. Would you rather have more money or more time? I'd rather have more money be than to have more time because if I have more money, then I would be able to help others who didn't have as much money as me. What do you think? What's up, CCMS? What's up, CCMS?